Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, this is following on from the episode about the Ionic 6 Journey Planner um, video that I last did and I'll put a link up there um, to that for you to look at if you haven't seen it. Um, just more depth and detail about what it can do and um, I've had lots of positive uh, reports in my comments from people around Europe who say it's, it's good and accurate and it even compares well to some of the other journey planners they use. So um, I just dip back into that and show you what longer journeys you can do and what you actually see and what the limitations are. Right, once more into engineering mode, so radio on. Seven. Three. One. And it's the 8 digit code on the latest firmware. So it's um, 19500624. Okay. And then you want dynamics, navigation, route. And scroll down near the bottom. Um, EV recommendation PO activation is the one you want to turn it on. Someone did ask me what circuit mode on off would do and I've tried it I cannot see any difference and I've tried some of the other things and I cannot see any differences. The only one that seems to do anything is EV recommended POI activation. So that's the one we have to turn on. And then back to navigation. And before I start, I've just done the Georgian one that was failing the other day and was sending me to Belgium. And now that's sending me to BP Pulse DC charger at Bath, which is, well, it's BP, but it's, it's better than it was doing the other day. The route guidance will start now. Um, long range routes, I tried Prague. And as you can see, it's, it's done me four stops. So it only does the first four stops. So that's a limitation, but I mean, you would probably have to redo it once you got to the fourth stop to see where you went next. Um, but I mean, for the UK, that's, that's more than good enough to get me to John O'Groats. So looking at those, that's Ionity. Uh, Fastnet and I honestly Milton Keynes so if I do John O'Groats again change destination and I'll add a tour point to make it go up um, the east coast So I've got a mixture of Osprey, Fastnet and Porsche, which is probably okay. Uh, if I had a tilt point to make it go to the Sage Gates head. And then recalculate.
It's probably a genie point. <laughs> and an ionity. So what's that one? And then. Alan, Alan Wick. And. And another small, small poor smart charger. Um, The see, route guidance will start now. See if you can get me to Dusseldorf. Yeah, no problem. It's only 517 miles. <laughs> but that's that's just used three of the stops. So there you go. So, so as you can see, uh, the more I use it, the more useful it actually seems. But I mean, you're still going to have better results sometimes from. Um, ways and a better route planner with this it's, it's built in and once they fully release it um, it's it's better than having nothing thank you for watching